Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into the jungle tier list for what is this V0118, V018 patch. Uh, we got all the new items, a bunch of changes. I finally have gotten my opinions on the patch, and I'm going to talk about uh, everything for jungle. So let's go ahead and go into it. I'm just going to top to bottom this one, and we're going to dive straight in. The S tier did not change. I think Chimera and Zarus are just the best junglers. Um, th th it's funny because this tier list, I have such a hard time truly splitting it for solo queue without having a little bit of com like competitive context to it. But Zarus is just nuts, dude. He's absolutely broken in the jungle. I think he's kind of just a broken hero in general. His build didn't really change much in general. I mean, you, you probably could add some items to it. Uh, but his pick potential, his dive potential, his his ability to snowball games, his control around the map is just really, really insane. He's really good at doing objectives. He brings good CC to the team. He brings a lot of damage to the team. Zars is just broken, dude. Really not much more to say uh, than that. And same thing for Chim Chimera, right? For both solo queue and for actual competitive, I actually think for competitive, he kind of slightly comes down a little bit. And some of these other picks are going to be higher than him. Um, but this is kind of mostly meant to be geared toward a solo queue list. And Chimera is just a menace, dude. Um, he's absolutely busted in, in terms of solo queue because it, it takes like a village to deal with him. It takes a team to deal with him. If he's invading early, if he's getting a lead, he just gets to the point where you can't really do much against him. Um, he has really, really solid objective presence. You know, he's he's just a really frustrating hero to deal with. He, he's easy to play. Chimera just is that jungler, right? He's He's just meant to be in that way. He's made that way. Now, the left to right doesn't mean anything, so don't take that for, for any kind of meaning. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to A plus tier. I don't know why I structure it that way, but I do. Sounds less mean to some of the heroes at the bottom. Um, Aurora, I think she's nuts. I think she's really, really strong. Um, you can build her pretty tanky, but I do actually think that she needs a little bit of damage to feel solid. And uh, she doesn't feel broken to me. She's got really, really good clear, which I was surprised by. I wasn't expecting her passive to be so good at, at actually jungling. Uh, Aurora feels solid, dude. She's got really, really good presence. I think that she's super impactful if you have strong wall placements in team fights, and she brings really good CC and damage to the team. I think Aurora feels really solid like really really strong she's on the high side of like a tier like really really high side of a tier she's encroaching s tier i think um in terms of jungle and she feels really solid crunch i'm a little iffy on man a part of me wants to pull him down a little bit this patch a part of me feels like he's still really that like early to mid game menace that he always is um I think Crunch feels still really fine. The problem with Crunch is that he falls off, but his early to mid game, uh, you know, presence is still super, super strong. He brings good damage to the team. He's very, very bursty, um, and, and there are some answers to Crunch. So I do think that he's solid. Like he, he just fits that solid early to mid game. I feel like I can pull out Crunch and I can carry games with him. He, he's a very strong go to jungler for me. I really like him. I think that he's, he's got a lot of skill expression just with the nature of his kit, and this hasn't changed at all. Crunch still feels like he's fitting in that same kind of position for me. Um, Kalari, and actually I, I kind of want to structure this for some reason a little bit differently. Um, so I'm going to come to Kalari a little bit later. I don't know, just the way that this tier looks, looks, it looks weird. I don't know. Um, Kwong, Kwong is super strong. He's still the same as always. His jungle, it, I don't, I, I don't, I feel like he's really, really good in off lane, but his jungle is very, very consistent. Um, he's a solid tank. You can build a little bit of damage on him. I don't think that you want to overdo the damage. Like I think Aurora is like a, a more magical bruiser, and then you kind of go tanky, where I think Kwong, you can build a little bit of damage, but he's like mostly tank. Super strong initiation, super strong pick potential just because of the nature of his tether. He's really solid, you know, I, I don't know what else more to say about him. I don't think his build has changed too much. You can probably throw a magnify in it if you want, if you want to do a little bit more damage, but Kwong just feels incredibly consistent. He's a lot of fun to play. I think I think combo based characters, like like more interesting kit based characters, are more fun to play. So that's why I like his kit a lot. Uh, Kwong is really really solid. Um, Fang Mao and Kalari, I'm gonna kind of pair them in together. I think that they are kind of they're kind of banging right now. Um, Fang Mao, I still don't know if I think he's a better off laner than jungler. I think he is. Um, but dude, Fang Mao just hits a point where he out farms everyone, literally everyone. He can out farm everyone, and then he gets to a point where he's just like a, he he's super hard to deal with. He can one v one anybody. Super super easily um i think that his build changed around a little bit you kind of have to structure the items a little bit differently and i'm not here to talk about the build but his build isn't that much different you're still mostly kind of doing the same thing with him but he gets a point where he just feels impossible to deal with and you you know that he's going to just like one shot your carrier you know be able to take like almost any 1v1 in the game now kalari 
Kalari feels mostly the same, but she's a solo queue menace, and that's why she comes up so high. I don't actually think that she's like in the same tier as some of these other heroes, um, but she is a solo queue menace. If you get fed on this character, the game is just over. So I think that you actually, and she also has kind of a high skill ceiling. I think that you actually have to actually be good at her, um, but I haven't really changed my build at all. The only difference I'm doing now is I'm throwing an Envy in fourth slot. And dude, I have come out of stealth on this character or I've dashed, like ulted at somebody with this character. I've silenced them with Envy and they die before they literally have a chance to do anything. So before it was kind of like, oh, I can dive back line or I can jump on their carry and I can probably kill them before they can respond. And now a lot of the time they literally can't respond. So I think that this character got a little bit buffed this patch, not much, but she still feels really, really high tier for me in jungle because of the nature of of being able to get fed and kind of snowball a game feels really, really solid. Rampage for me, I think Rampage is the undisputed best tank jungle, um, which is why I have him so high. We're going to talk about tanks a little bit in this patch. Um, I, I, again, I think Quang is up there as well, but Quang kind of brings a different style of tank jungling. And again, I actually, I'm, a part of me almost wants to bring Quang down a tier, um, but I, I think that he's still really, really solid. So he also brings magic damage to the jungle, which is nice. Um, Rampage, he, to me, I think right now feels like contesting the top tank jungle spot with Quang. I'll just go ahead and say that. Um, because you can play him super, super tanky, or you can also play him like a little bit on the bruiser side of things. Like you can go like Icecorn Talon's brutal um, uh, Basilisk start to bring a little bit more haste and then go into full tank. Uh, for me, my philosophy on tanking this patch has changed a little bit. I think if you're truly playing a tank, you need to like almost entirely go very large tank items and plan your build in a way that is incredibly tanky. I've been playing this a particular tank build. I have a video for it for Rampage. It feels really, really strong. So people like I, I saw I've, I've seen a couple tier lists in the in the space right now and I've been seeing Rampage really, really low. Dude, his early to mid game presence in jungle is still insane. His ability to clear is still insane. Um, he, he feels like a really, really strong jungler to me right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like him. He, I'm also I mean, I kind of have a sweet spot for Rampage. I've always played him like competitively and stuff, too. So, yeah, there's that. Greystone, my. I don't like, it's weird, this patch, I don't really like building Greystone super tanky anymore. I may kind of go lean more into it. I haven't played him a ton. Um, but Greystone, I feel like he is like finally finding his footing as like a bruiser because he he is inherently tanky because of the nature of his ultimate, but you don't really bring any CC to the table. So I think building him full tank in jungle it's just not that good. Like, and that's why his jungle isn't that good. But now that I think that he's got a really strong, solid bruiser build, and I could talk about why, um, I think that he feels pretty good in jungle. His invade potential is crazy. Greystone is not a ganking jungler. You can gank with him. Yes, you should gank with him. He is a 1v1 jungler. Like, you're constantly playing the jungle 1v1 with him. You're constantly looking for invade. You're constantly trying to build up this damage build on him that enables you to take advantages from the enemy jungler, not necessarily put the laners down. And then when you do that, then you can start winning the game through objectives. So Greystone plays the game a little bit different than some of the other junglers do, do probably than most of the other junglers do. Um, and I really, really like his play style. Earthshaker on him, for me, feels really, really solid. I've been doing a Overlord start because Overlord now you can guarantee that you're going to get your, your cleaver after your first clear. So you can can do like a full sequence grab cleaver go into overlord into basilisk into earthshaker and you do a ton of damage so i think that um graystone now finally like he was kind of on that bruiser tank spectrum i think he's kind of fallen out of the tank role a little bit and fallen more into being bruiser that is very tanky and hard to deal with and i actually think that that feels better for him because he can bring some damage to the team um all right let's jump into the a tier countess shinbi feel a little bit weird for me this patch i haven't quite found their builds yet and that might be why they're, they feel good, though. They still feel strong. Countess is the really big question mark. I just don't really feel comfortable on her, and maybe I haven't felt comfortable on her in jungle for a while. So my opinion of her kind of sitting in the dead center of the tier list comes from the fact that I do think that she still has potential. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I don't feel like she feels bad. I don't really feel like she feels super good, but I know that there's something there, so I need to explore it more. So right now, I'm kind of playing it safe, leaving her in the A tier. She doesn't feel super crazy, like she can hard carry games to me as much as she used to in the past, but she doesn't feel bad, and she definitely doesn't feel super slow or anything like that. Shinbi, I think, has much more potential. Um, so Shinbi is like the high mid tier right now like you know obviously it's a tier because i had that in the center of the tier list but she feels like the high of just standard a tier for me um i still think you play her like mostly with like a bruisery kind of health build uh, but all my like magic bruiser builds have shifted this patch and i'm 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 missing old life binder but 
that aside, I think they just feel pretty solid, pretty consistent. All right, now we got to talk about tanks because we're getting to like the actual true tanks, which I mean, like I said, I'm building Rampage like an actual true tank, but Rampage's jungle has always been a little bit better than some of the other tanks in terms of clear. So Steel and Richter, they've already been kind of like naturally falling down in, in jungle viability over time because they're just slow, man. They're just slow, but they're not bad at all. They're just really slow. And when it comes to solo queue, they're just really slow. Um, I think that tanks are hurting a little bit this patch. That's absolutely true. I feel like the carry role was already super broken and it got a little bit stronger this patch. And I feel like the tank role was really solid and it got a little bit weaker this patch. So naturally the, the gap is, is, is widening between carries and like the damage dealers in general in Pred and the tanks. Um, so I don't really feel like these two tanks feel super good in jungle right now. Um, they're slow. Um, yeah, I mean, they're great for when you scale them into team fights, but a game can end before that period. So that doesn't particularly feel amazing. Um, C tier, I've got it kind of stacked. And I, I did that because I pulled some of these, um, these, these, tears apart a little bit um it's really simple the same thing goes for severog but he's super slow because you're constantly focusing on your farming like that's all you do you just sit in the jungle and farm and farm and you're you're trying to stack his ganks are actually pretty decent um, but i'm just not a fan of playing him i'm not a fan of playing him at all in general i i don't particularly think that he is great for solo queue because he needs time and you can lose a game before you get you know uh to the point where severog is very impactful um grex it's simple with Grux. His kid just sucks. Like his kid just sucks for for jungle. He's really really strong. His kid just sucks ass for jungle. His clear is like it's okay, but again, you just have to like use all of your really long ass cooldowns to jungle. And you know, I don't know. His jungle is just not very good. It, it really just isn't. You're never going to see him played in tournaments as a jungler. You, you know, it's just not really that great. Um, but yeah, he can do the role. And Sarath, Sarath is just like a low elo pub stomper. She is absolutely useless in, in the majority of high level play. She's got some decent off lane matchups, but as far as the jungle tier list goes, the, anything Sarath can do, someone else can do better, except for get super fed and hard carry a game. But that like rarely happens when you're actually playing against good players. So solo queue wise, like, yeah, I could probably put her like somewhere in here, but I, I just feel like it feels like a lie to put her up here because I did that last tier list. If you go look at my last one, I think I had her in, like in the same tiers, like these other like kind of like mage assassins or whatever, um, or like mage bruises, whatever you want to classify them as. And, and I just keep wanting to pull her down every time because I just feel like I'm lying. Every time I play her, I feel useless on her unless I get super fed, which again, only happens when people play the game poorly and not actually because the character is very good. So she's slow. You know, if you build her bruiser, then it feels meh. And if you build her super carry, then you're super easy to deal with. And she just doesn't have um, the tools needed to be very strong. I, I don't know. I think she's struggling. I love playing her too. She's one of my favorite heroes to play, but I think she's feeling pretty weak to me. So um, this is kind of where the tier list is at. I definitely think if you pick anything A plus S tier, um, you're going to have solid games. These are definitely my like go-to in the roster uh, for jungling. Anything below that is just like they can get the job done, uh, but don't feel super great. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Drop a like in the video. Subscribe for future predecessor content. Again, it's a subjective tier list. I feel like I have to say this every time. Of course, anybody could up or minus a couple things like that's just the way that tier lists go. Don't overthink it. It's just my opinion. As always, be sure to be kind of one of them. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.